any existing fillings are removed to create space for the fiber frame and layering composite. The required length of fibers was measured to make the fiber frame. The required length of fibers was cut together with the silicone bedding. The cut fiber pieces were shielded from the light until needed. The surfaces of the teeth were etched with orthophosphoric acid, according to the bonding agent manufacturer's instructions. The teeth surfaces were rinsed with water and air dried carefully after etching. The working area was kept dry during bonding and layering of composite. Use of a rubber dam is highly recommended. The teeth surfaces were bonded using separate primer and adhesive according to the bonding agent manufacturer's instructions. The bonding agent was light cured as described by the manufacturer. A layer of flowable composite was applied onto the bonded teeth surfaces. The first fiber layer was placed on top of the uncured flowable composite and light cured for 5 to 10 seconds through the silicone adapter. For maximum reinforcement, the fibre was bent towards the gin giver. However, enough space was left for cleaning. The second fibre layer was attached using flowable composite and light cured in place. Transverse fibers were added to give additional support for the composite pontic. The partially cured fiber frame was covered using flowable composite and characterization shades. Final light curing of the fiber frame was performed for 40 seconds, one unit at a time. Build up the Pontic using composite according to the composite manufacturer's instructions. Finish the bridge and adjust it into occlusion.